Simple Survival. I'm pretty sure you have been hearing this name for a long time now. So today I'm gonna explain everything about Simple Survival. First of all Simple Survival is a new development concept put forward by the Chinese version of Life After. And we're not even sure this will come to the global version. So Simple Survival is a test server in Chinese version focused on making the game more simple and enjoyable like before. A lot of features have been removed and added to make this possible, like manor level, gathering, craft and combat level abilities will replace into whole unified level. Max level cap of player is 79. The accessories required for the weapon and armor will be reduced to 6. Only in the accessory level will be capped according to the player's level. Removed formula index special res upgrade and unlocking equipments on the formula r and d will be easy and simple tactical belt upgrade is linked to the character's level and all tactical chip will be set to max level cap of eight simplified the drone hanger and reducing the consumption of aviation wrench for upgrading drone hanger enhancement Schedule task will be now divided into four categories only, making the daily task much simple and less boring. Special operations, federation operations, infrastructure systems, aerial ace, camp cascade rescue, knight's request, and treasure chest exploration will be subject to evaluation for adjustment or removal. Gene modification will set limit according to the player's character level. Only Gene 1 to Gene 2 are possible to unlock. The mutation cores are reduced to level 5, and the limit will set according to the player's level. Removing the treasure hunter profession, ability system, and disabling all treasures from the profession including energization, wallpaper, structure, and furniture treasure. Removed all evolution weapons, so no leechoves, flamethrowers, steel shield, act. In PvP Gamma Play removed Charlestown Championship and will adjust various PvP modes. Added formula shards rewards on scheduled duty chest. Adjustment of the subsequent rewards of completing daily and weekly missions. Bringing back the old version of login music, camp music, which can be switched freely in the corresponding scene. Weapons such as light, heavy and melee are now merged into one set of accessory. Each type of weapon of your choice are now all balanced. So if you ran out of ammo in the middle of combat, you can switch to a melee weapon and still do the same damage which is awesome. Since evolution weapons are removed, it is now fun and easy to compete using available weapons that are based on your level. Now let's talk about player level and weapon distribution. Reaching players level 20 can now use Masan Nagan Sniper and even Makeshift Cannon. Reaching players level 40 can now use KSG Shotgun, 25 Revolver, M1, and China Lake Grenade Launcher. Reaching players level 60 can now use Red Dot Shotgun, Oz Rifle, Om, Homing Bazooka, and Saw Blade. Reaching players level 70 to 79 can now use Revolver Shotgun, Electric Arc, QLB06, Alloy Saw Blade, and DSR Sniper. Character's maximum level capping is currently at 79. Manor levels has been removed so no need to upgrade manor or something like that. Abilities are simplified. Survivors can upgrade their abilities according to their survival needs. The corresponding level of equipment has been adjusted alloy saw blade is the highest melee weapon available. Upper level limit of tactical belt chip is set to level 8. The tactical belt chip is linked to the player's level. So that's all the information about Simple Survival so far. I hope you understand what Simple Survival is and how it works. Thank you for watching, and please consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always change your mind.